Well, we wanted to give Matt his award because Matt is the next one that's going to introduce our keynote speaker. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a real good mood right now. Um, <laughs> Marlene Johnson is a graduate of the St. John's Hospital School of Nursing and the Bachelor's Nursing Program at SUNY Plattsburgh. She worked for over 25 years as a professional bedside nurse. While working as a preceptor in the ICU, she discovered her love, her love for nursing and for teaching. Sorry. To follow that path, she became a nurse educator at the Carthage Area Hospital before becoming the director of the lab here at JCC. She has been married for 37 years, has two children and two granddaughters. She has worked to improve the health and lives of others and has a wonderful family, but this does not explain why we asked her to be our keynote speaker. I was actually a little bit at a loss as to how to put into words what Marlene has meant to us. So I went to the other staff in the nursing program and asked for some words that they would use to describe a nurse. And I'm gonna use a few of those to help explain why we asked Marlene to speak. So the first two are caring and compassionate. Throughout our two years of nursing school, Marlene has made herself available for us to talk to, to ask questions to, and to be a shoulder to lean on when the stress of this program began to feel like way too much. Um, I found myself in her office quite a few times, and every time she would always make me feel that I would be able to pass the test that was coming up and that I would be able to make it through this program. Uh, next, we have devoted and selfless. Marlene gave up her free time to come teach us in lab. She would keep the lab open late for us. She always made sure that we were ready. And she was willing to keep the open lab open late for our technical skills to be passed, as long as we were willing to work hard. The last of the words I'm going to use is one that is pretty obvious to most people, but tends to get forgotten, and that is teacher. In our very first weekend of class, Marlene gave us a small cartoon that depicted two people climbing a hill. And it stated very simply that when you help someone else to the top of a hill, you'll get there that much sooner yourself. Now, this was a very good start to a lesson on not only working as a team, but on the benefit of helping others. From, the weekend, from that weekend until now, Marlene has been teaching us not just the skills we'll need to care for our patients, but also how to communicate with our patients. She showed us how to perform the technical skills we'll be using throughout our careers and use simulations to show us how to use those skills in real life environments. Throughout it all, she has been there for us, showing compassion and kindness to weary and very stressed students, giving up her own time to help us grow as nurses and people, and teaching us to help others. For these reasons and many more that I could go into with a lot of ease when speaking of Marlene, we asked her to be our speaker and it is now my privilege to introduce our keynote speaker for this event, Marlene Johnson. I was calm until that introduction. Now I'm having palpitations and tachycardia. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> I'd like to extend a warm and joyous welcome to family, friends, hospital staff, faculty, and members of administration who have gathered here this evening to celebrate the weekend class of 2014 nursing pinning ceremony. It's a privilege and an honor to be standing here before you this evening and congratulate the nursing class of 2014. December has always been a favorite time of year for me and this one is most special. I'm sure many of you have read the book or seen the movie, The Polar Express. At the end of the long but fun train ride to the North Pole, the children anxiously wait for Santa to select one of them to receive the first gift of Christmas. Tonight, as I stand here looking at the proud beaming faces of the nine nursing graduates that I have had the most distinct pleasure of working with the past two years, I feel like the young boy in the movie 
who was given the first gift of Christmas. So I begin with a heartfelt thank you to Alex, Allison, Amanda, Carmen, Leslie, Lisa, Matt, Shannon, and Tyasia for making this evening possible, not only for me, but for all present here tonight. My wish for you is that all of you remember 20, 30 years from now, how you're feeling tonight about being a nurse. Be like the young boy in the Polar Express who could still hear the ringing of the bell as an adult, even though it fell silent for so many, simply because he truly believed. I'd like to ask all the nurses in the audience to close your eyes for just a few seconds. Can you still feel it? Five years ago, as a new member of the nursing faculty, I quickly learned how intense the nursing program at JCC is for the students and for the faculty. I witnessed how hard they worked and how much stress they were under each and every day. So one morning, as I was having my get ready to face the day cup of coffee at home, I tore that page of the Mary Engelbright 365 day calendar off and before me was that picture of the little girl pushing another up the hill and the following words were under the picture, Matt. When you help someone up a hill, you get that much closer to the top yourself. It struck me and instantly I knew that was going to be the motto for the nursing labs to inspire the students and me to do our best and each other to achieve their goal of being successful in the JCC nursing program. Looking out at all of you this evening, I can see it was a darn good idea and that it worked. <laughs> I witnessed this motto in action with all of you during your nursing labs, but even more in the open lab sessions. You were there for each other, but what really impressed me the most was that you helped the freshman students, encouraging them and giving them pep talks, even when you felt you were crushing under the pressure. It truly was amazing to see the camaraderie that developed. I observed characteristics and qualities that kept you all going up that hill. During the past two years, every other weekend, you all displayed determination, dedication, motivation, some weekends sometimes a little more than others, <laughs> courage, discipline, a sense of humor, caring, compassion, and most of all, a strong desire to be a nurse. These helped you survive the past two years, but realize that these same qualities will be necessary for you as you continue to grow in the profession of nursing. I know that you could not have made it without your family and friends who supported you and went through these past two years right along with you. American former gymnast Mary Lou Retton, who won five medals in the 1984 Summer Olympics, stated that each of us has a fire in our hearts for something. It's our goal in life to find it and to keep it lit. Well, it's obvious to all present this evening that all of nine of you tonight have a fire in your heart for the profession of nursing. So now I'd like to give you just a few suggestions on how you might keep that fire lit. Learn something new every day. Medicine and technology change so rapidly that we must all make a commitment to remain current. Make it a point to learn something new every day. As a new graduate, that's going to be very easy to accomplish. But continue being curious and seek to use evidence-based care for your patient 30 years from now. Find a role model and pattern yourself after that person. Often these nurses love to mentor. Take advantage of that opportunity to build a special bond and like a sponge, soak up whatever information that person can give you. As you progress from novice to expert in your clinical areas, it's my challenge to you to become future role models and mentors to the new graduates that will follow after you. Dare to care. We're all facing challenging times in the healthcare field. We're all expected to do more with less and still deliver competent, compassion nursing care to our patients. They expect it and they deserve it. Does it sound impossible? 
It's really not. When you're with a patient and family, make them feel as though they're the only ones you're caring for. Even though you have 10 other things to do elsewhere, the one you're with now is the one who matters the most. Smile, a touch of the hand, standing silently and listening compassionately will touch their hearts and that's what they'll remember. Will you go home some days feeling you didn't do enough, didn't have enough time to spend with your patient? Sure will, but there's always tomorrow to try again. I can remember crying on my way home from work thinking I should have done more, but to my patients what I was able to give them because I gave them the best that I could at that time. I've had to get boxes of tissues for family members who were sitting by a critical loved one's bed and have them pass that box to me when they noticed my tears. Was I embarrassed? Absolutely not. I was touched that they allowed me and their family at a most difficult time. There's an ad in the American Journal of Critical Care that summarizes this perfectly, stating simply, most people go to work, nurses go to care. Don't get in a rut, and if you do, don't stay there. During my 39 years in nursing, I've had the opportunity to work at med surge, OR, progressive care, critical care, nursing education in the hospital setting, and now as a member of the nursing department at the college. You'll know when and if it's time for a change. Don't ignore the symptoms. Don't be afraid to try new things and new areas of nursing. Nursing is unique in that it gives you a chance to change careers and stay in the same profession. Take advantage of that wonderful opportunity. Family first. You've just completed a very challenging program here at Jefferson Community College, and you're surrounded tonight by family members who have been through it right along with you. The challenges of your new jobs or school for those who are pursuing your bachelor's degree will continue to demand much of your time. Keeping family first doesn't mean having to have every weekend or holiday off, but instead it means spending quality time with your family when you are together. And uh, the nine of you have had a lot of practice at that the last two years. At the end of a long shift, it's always such a great feeling to pull into your driveway and to come home to your family. Take care of you. We've taught you that nursing is an art and a science. Nurses must communicate effectively, problem solve, multitask, be a patient advocate, be flexible, be part of a multidisciplinary team, be able to lift, bend, pick up heavy loads, delegate, stay calm in a crisis, cover for a call in, provide emotional support, pass meds, change dressings, take off orders, and prioritize, all while having a calm demeanor and a smile on your face. There are going to be a lot of demands placed on you. That's why you have to take care of you. You can't effectively nurture and provide care and support to your patients and your family if you are tired and broken physically, mentally, or spiritually. You must have a healthy release from the stresses of the occupation, exercise, reading, meditation, or quilting. You'll be better equipped to deal with the stresses of job and family if you find some quiet time to focus on your needs each day, to de-stress and to refocus. You'll all need it, and you deserve it. My family teases me about my quirky habit of changing words to songs or sayings to deliver my messages to them. So tonight, because you all feel like family to me, I'll do this for you. There's a saying that goes like this. A mother gives her children's, children roots and wings. I'd like to conclude tonight by giving you my revised version, which is the nursing faculty at Jefferson Community College has given you strong roots during the past two years. And tonight we must say farewell and let you use your wings to begin the next phase of your nursing journey. As the class of 2014, you each entered the Sturtz Theater this evening as my students. But as you exit, I will greet you after the pinning as a colleague in the highly valued and respected profession of nursing. I hope that when you see me, you will notice that my fire is a bit brighter tonight because of you. 
I'm so very proud of each and every one of you. You all hold a very special place in my heart. So farewell and best of luck to each and every one of you. Thank you.